get all these goodies. The boys were so generous and sponsored some plates and some aprons. So I just finished my concussion clinic uh, appointment and I'm a little bit emotional because uh, the recovery time for having a concussion is very unknown. Everyone is a little bit different. Um, for me, he is suggesting that I walk. He never actually put a time to it. At first I kept thinking it was like 30 minutes and I gotta go, I gotta go. But he said, until I don't feel you know, stress while I'm work walking, then I can walk as much as I need to. Um, where it's about 30 seconds, a minute, and it will generate uh, brain cells uh, to, you know, recover and get myself out of this concussion. And also, um, the other thing is to have really good sleep. I haven't been sleeping very well. I don't know if anyone else on here does um, have this, like, lucid dreaming uh situation that they always feel like they're getting themselves out of the dream into another dream to get themselves out like it's quite intense and i wake up more tired the thing is he kept it for the last because it, it was super obvious don't stress and i have one of the most stressful careers ever because events you always have to cater to other people um with catering people you know have their certain demands and you know there's been times where people have yelled at you because you didn't toast your bread or you know just something right and i think on the normal i'm pretty good at rounding it all up together but when i'm dealing with this type of stress even when i feel like i'm gonna be late it does reverse any progress that i've made so i need to recover as soon as possible and yeah I gotta hire a personal assistant that i really trust i have to also hire a few more staff because we are growing it's I have absolutely no complaints with work um, as right now, which is crazy because a few months ago I was not, I was not feeling it, but you know, it's one of those things, don't give up on your dreams, like you're almost there, you're almost there, you're almost there, and when you give up you don't know your story, and I'm really glad I didn't give up, especially because of what happened and this concussion it still didn't stop me and it's still not going to stop me from recovering and also pushing through and seeing through this and really making this into a success so i'm very very excited for you guys to be part of this journey um never have i ever documented as much as i have uh lately uh because i do want to create this youtube community and also you know showcase that it is possible to dream and achieve the dreams these things are real manifestation and you can get out of bad situations too and you can change your whole life around we have so much to talk about honestly just so much i'm going to be going to do a photo shoot with my agency so putino um has planned out uh, a whole shoot to revamp the website so we can introduce ourselves to brands and so there's a bunch of really amazing um other celebrity chefs on the roster that i admire i'm just a small bean there like they are amazing you should see some of their work it's so cool um and I am very excited because my girl Megan is also styling me and there's a bunch of uh, other sponsors like Medium Rare that has um, also introduced me to some really cool aprons I'm going to rock and then there's uh, a designer that also has been working with Megan on just her uh her clothing so jordan um so shout out to the girls for you know holding that down there's gonna be hair and makeup and glam and i'm just excited to kind of be pampered i've been like getting my nails done uh that's why i have a black face right now and my hair is clean for her to uh 
braid and put into a bun. I marked it to grab some hamachi uh, to do like a little crudo. I want it to be nice and light and perfect for pictures because not only Medium Rare sponsored me, also Spirit Wear, um, their sister company, sponsored me with some plates. So I want to make it really pretty and I really want this whole photo shoot to go very smoothly because there's been a lot of behind the scenes uh, that Laura and Jordy and Rosanna has been, you know, gratefully and gracefully has all just put together for us. Like, um, so Putino really blessed us with this. Putino has been blessing us with this photo shoot with hair and makeup and uh, there's a photographer flying in from New York. I've seen everyone else's like photos lately for the past two days and they look amazing. So very excited to just be behind the scenes. It's been a while since I've done a photo shoot so I love the glam. Yeah, I love uh, dressing up and uh, feeling myself, you know as you should so and if you heard that that was my tummy i am hungry so i'm gonna go grab a snack too probably sushi let's go so change of plans i'm not going to eat, eat sushi but i stopped by this uh, noodle shop before i went grocery shopping because you tend to buy 40% more food than you don't intend and I need some food before I go shopping for the rest of the ingredients. So I'm trying some uh, some cumin lamb skewers and then I got also like a pork intestine noodle dish that I'm excited about. I'm usually not a biggest fan of northern Chinese food but let's see how this place goes. Pretty good. The portion's really big. This is like 12 bucks. So we got pig intestine and also some chili peppers and yellow noodles. Did not expect that. I thought I, I was eating the soup. Okay, let's try this. get so much intestines is amazing. 12 bucks? That's crazy. So far it's really good. So we're gonna go to uh, Yusuki fish market on Spadina. Uh, last few times I went there, I couldn't get anything because there was no reason to, but now I have more reasons to. And I hope they have hamachi because I really need it. They have wagon on sale. Look at this. Everything looks amazing. But still very expensive for a few pieces. But the quality must be very good. This is all flown from Japan. We'll get into a wagon rating another day. Perfect grades. Uni's flow now, so $105 for that slack. Ooh, Akira, my favorite. They also have cod guts. Look at this. 
Oh, this is what I was looking for. Hamachi. And some taro. Scallops. Everything's so nice here. Yeah? Got all the plates from Spirit Wear all prepped out. Got some matcha salt and some seasoning, some goju berries, and then just the soup that's already made. And amazing. Who's this? Thank you so much Hi. for letting <laughs> us be here for the Putino shoot. You're very welcome. Okay, show me what you got. Oh, well, we've got some good stuff for you. So at the front of the rack, we have the very traditional chef looks. So we have your chef's coat and your sort of denim apron, which I really love with these vintage capris. And they've got that gingham, which is like very traditional chef, but they've got a really cute slim fit. So we have this very like traditional French kitchen kind of chef look. I love that piece. And then we have a wide leg option as well. Just something just an option. I love this look. It's like a white linen on linen look with a little bandana. Very cute. And obviously we always want to bring that little bit of Cindy style. So we have a little lacy bralette underneath. Okay. Just for that cute knot. I like it with these gray denim. I'm not sure how we're going to feel about the carrot top under the apron. So we always have a backup of these very chic white carpenter pants too. And that's very chic, this whole white on white look I'm really loving right now. Yeah, me too. And then here we have another option to go with the white apron look. This is really just blue on blue, which is always very chic and classic. So that kind of gives the same vibe, but it's a little not as fussy as all white look in the kitchen. This piece is a bit of a wild card, but I really loved it. This is something that we borrowed from our friend Jordan Geruder, who is this wonderful local designer. And she does incredible corsetry. And she also has this little purse that she makes, and I thought it looked like a pop holder a little bit with the ruffle. And I love this sort of country look. You know, a corset moment, big flared uh, denim skirt. Uh, dark denim is very on trend right now, so we wanted to pull that together. And then, you know, a little matching pot holder clutch moment. It's fun to play with. This look I really love because it really does remind me of Cindy. It's very, very classic. So classic lacy bralette under a lace trimmed camisole with a, just a very simple slip style skirt and then the white apron tied around the waist. And that's very, very classic French kitchen and very chic. So I love, I wanna see that one on her for sure. Just if we wanna go for a more feminine angle. We have these two flouncy, very vintage -y dresses, just as an option, again, if we wanna go a little bit more femme, a little bit more vintage with the vibe. And then these are the wild cards. Uh, Cindy showed me some really fun, very elaborate uh, ball gown styles for more of like a conceptual shoot, less of an active shoot than what we're doing today. So I did want to pull some options. Again, these are all from Jordan DeRuder. Uh, these pieces are very timely. It's spooky season. They are from her tarot collection. Oh, I love it. They are from her tarot collection. Very stunning. The Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords. This dress is absolutely beautiful. If you zoom in here, like all this embroidery and beading and really a very accurate depiction of the card, just absolutely perfect. So I love these pieces. Oh, hopefully we get through all the fits. I don't think we'll get through all of them, but we can definitely narrow it down. And then this is the closest, this is the most glam I went for you today. Um, I know it's a little bit of a departure from the styling originally from Plutino, but it is the closest to what you had pulled. And it's just this really stunning brocade fit and flare cupped bustier style on top and just really has some like witchy glamour that I know Cindy always loves. Well thanks for pulling everything oh my gosh look at how beautiful this is and then this piece right here just this is from Bird and Derruder and these pieces they're just so like the embroidery it's so fine like the details my gosh it's so gorgeous can't 
I can't wait to try it. All my glam hair and makeup is here. Oh, hi, I'm Sherry. I'm here in Makeup Artist with Platina Group. So she's gonna do my hair and makeup because this is not working today. <laughs> Everyone's been looking amazing, so I'm really excited to get all glammed up by her. So, let's go. I, mean, I think the crew said, Vanessa, consistency though. Right, this mm. creamy? Yeah. It's the new Lady Gaga. It adds up. Oh, it really does. It's so annoying. But you know, for some definition. Let's look at that. I feel like this works and this works. Okay. Because she's going to be like seated at a table, mm -hmm. super personable. This works to have a wear something like this, like the bit down. And like tie. Bit down. Wear this bra on me. I won't show, but. Awesome. That's okay. And then we'll try these two aprons. Okay. Um, either we'll try this one layered up and then just to tie your waist. We'll see how this looks good. Yeah, layered the medium rare one. Okay. Just finished my makeup, putting my chef jacket on. I think I got one. You know how lips, like sometimes there's like a tiny. Looks so good. That gorgeous hair. Changing focusing mode. One sec. Talk to me about light. Uh, amazing. Not too much, but honestly, it looks. Probably chop it along the line there, so the closer the hands are to the end. Gorgeous there, let's see. This is incredible. Perfect. Um, Beautiful, Cindy. There, that smile. Yeah. Sorry. Can you look at me? Okay, I'm going to ask you a sight. The sand and the tree hooks, I guess. Oh, look at this. That's great, Cindy. It's fun to me. Sure. It's so girly. Uh, I also randomly have one poster because it was hitting the card, the minimal spend. Um, so if oh. I wanna, it's a dollar. So um, if I have a shucker, then I can just shuck yep, it. Shucker. Okay. Shucker. What? Not much taller than me, if at all. Like I'm not huge. Okay. Okay, my hair is covered. So let's see. This can go on the counter. Is that on there or in a bowl? The wagon gets sliced up. I'm guessing that. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best. I haven't this really thought of it. Bread, you know, this would be actually. with some green. So yes, watch perfect. Out, okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. I just thought he was going to do it. Hello, internet. So. Right after. Um, yeah. I like this where you're like, huh? Oh, look at me. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. Just hiding. Yeah. yeah. Cindy. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Oh. Flame thing, check. I feel like this is like a surgery. Flame thing. <laughs> Beautiful. So it's a little spicy. A little spicy? One sec. Gorgeous. Fire time? Gorgeous. Whoa! Did not see that coming. Good there, going video, rolling. I'm in there. Like, I just accidentally picked up a wacko. Wait, wait. Yes, you do. I make that up. No. No. Patrice Lucia. Get me nuts. Green Astro. This is what it's going to be for a while. Well, match how wacko that I put together. Just so simple. Skinny. Ridiculous. Oh my yeah. gosh. Perfect. How did it taste? Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I want to get yes. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Live tasting. Um, Here we go. Okay, ready? You look like you were pointing at me. You weren't kidding about butter. It's butter. Did you try this? It's good. 
Okay, so I just changed into the last fit. This was not for the professional shoot. This was um, more for the creative shoot that Megan and I uh, were just shooting in our house. But I just wanted to show you guys this cute fit. Look. And styled me in this with Jordan DeRuter. And it's such a pretty, pretty piece. It reminds me of this artist, Jules and you should see their work it's so amazing but i am gonna get out of this fit my makeup's still on point and i am vlogging out because it's been what like a six hour shoot almost at this point um but it has been really really fun i can't wait for you guys to see the other photos though they look amazing yvonne did a stunning job Look at all the details. Got my comfy fit back on now. Ready for bed. Good night. <laughs>